Welcome to NTN Nightly, I am Janelle Novel. This edition Stop Stories. The St. Lucia Sports Academy launches a national recruitment drive. Senator Honorable Herman Gil Francis deepens talks on border patrol with the French government. And the CMO warns that COVID-19 remains a public health threat. The St. Lucia Sports Academy is pressing ahead with plans for the new academic year with the aim of surpassing its success rate. Opened in 2019, the Sports Academy offers students the opportunity to build their skill level in sports in addition to academics. Over the past few weeks, the Academy has been on a recruitment drive, visiting primary schools in Castries, Grosile, Canaries, Ancillary, Soufre, Viewfort, Miku and Babono. Hamadi Mark has the details. The St. Lucia Sports Academy has commenced a recruitment drive across St. Lucia for the academic year 2021-2022. The recruitment initiative takes interested students out onto playing fields, COVID-19 protocols observed, where their skill level is tested in the areas of football, cricket, and track and field. The intention is to motivate as many students as possible into making the St. Lucia Sports Academy their choice ahead of sitting the common entrance exams. Victor Connabut, coach at the St. Lucia Sports Academy, says the recruitment drive has been successful. The aim is to at least get at least three students in at least every other every primary school um, spread across the island so that they could com um, comprise our Form 1 cohort for 2021-2022. So um, at this moment we are in Sufre and we have seen quite a bit of talent in Sufre in all three areas and we are quite pleased with um, the cooperation of all PE teachers so far in all secondary school, in all primary schools. Principal of the St. Lucia Sports Academy, Delia Alcindor Charles, described the recruitment drive as very encouraging. It has been a very enjoyable experience from what I see. The students are very enthusiastic and um, we're hoping from that experience today as well as what will come in the future because the the coaches still have to go out to the other districts. So far, they've been to District 1. They've visited schools like Dimpolet, Babano, Balata. They've been to Millet. They've been to Miku, Viewfort. And today, the stop is in Sufre. So we're hoping from this exercise that we can attract as many students as possible. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabat says the overall intention is that the St. Lucia Sports Academy becomes the school of choice for students seeking to enhance their sporting career. The recruitment drive, she says, will also create more awareness about the school. The drive continues during the week of May 10th, 2021. From the Government Information Service, I'm Humedi Mark. The government of St. Lucia continues to explore the avenues available with the government of France for assistance in patrolling St. Lucia's borders and building the capacity of the Marine Police. St. Lucia and the French Antilles have further strengthened bilateral relations. This was signified by an official visit made by the Minister for Home Affairs, Justice and National Security to the French Navy vessel La Resolu, which is based in French Guyana. Minister for National Security, Senator Herman Gil Francis, explained that talks on the diplomatic framework between St. Lucia and the French Antilles have been ongoing and are focused on seeking assistance in patrolling St. Lucia's borders. The minister, impressed with the vessel, indicated that the collaboration will also aid in bolstering the capacity and skills of the Marine Police, especially with the Border Control Unit soon to come on stream. These vessels are going to be in our area and um, the, the job is to do the interception of narcotics and firearms also to be able to respond to any emergencies um, similar to what we had in St. Vincent and so that is the, the, the function and they call it. They are based in French Guyana um, but they are now in our waters for the next few weeks. Today marks the last day they are here and they will be traveling tomorrow but they have promised that they are going to come back and the coordination and cooperation with St. Lucia and Martinique is going to be intensified and strengthened. It is a fact that um, um, based on the number of coves that we have in this, in, 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 surrounding the island of St. Lucia, 
it's sometimes difficult for the Marine Unit to be everywhere. And to get the assistance from the French is huge. It's an, immen an immense um, uh, assistance. And so we are about moving into border control, where the Marine Unit is going to be taken away from the police and we joined with the customs and the quarantine department of the Ministry of Agriculture. When that happens, we will see a rapid increase in, in personnel at the Marine Unit and equipment. So we will be getting some additional boats and so on. So again, the coordination with the French is going to be extremely important so that we can get our officers trained in, in being able to detect and how to maneuver to board vessels and, and those on without any loss of life. The government of St. Lucia has been exploring workable solutions to combat illicit activities in and around the island's borders. The government has reached out to diplomatic allies for support in beefing up the Marine Unit's fleet and Senator Honorable Francis is confident that these efforts will soon bear fruit. We have an MOU with the, the French in Martinique as to assist us in, in doing the patrols of our borders. That has been, that has been ongoing. Um, but this morning, again, I spoke to the French ambassador here and he was telling me that the Admiral in, in, in Martinique is, very, very, is working very hard on a treaty that we are supposed to sign. Um, and as soon as he has completed, he will be sending it to St. Lucia so we can read through and we will be signing that um, treaty. So I think it was a very fruitful visit this morning and I want to thank the, the French authorities for allowing me to visit them. The vessel visited St. Lucia from Wednesday 5th May to Saturday 8th May 2021 at Port Castries and Senator Honorable Hermangel Francis paid an official visit to the vessel on Friday May 7, 2021. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville. St. Lucia has achieved another significant step in the management of environmental impacts under the Replast OECS project. The two-year pilot project is focused on plastic recycling through plastic waste collection. Replast OECS is now collaborating with the hotel accommodation sector to assist in the handling of plastic waste. Here's Lisa Joseph. Four hotel resorts will soon lead off the collection of plastics for recycling in St. Lucia, under the Replast OECS Pilot Plastic Recycling Project. The Replast OECS model is designed to operate plastic collection at three levels, households via community collection points, schools, and hotels. Recently, senior executives of Sanders Resorts, Bay Gardens Resorts, Harbor Club, and Hotel Chocolat met with Replast OECS to advance plans for the partnership. John Brett is the Managing Director at Hotel Chocolat. We're delighted to be um, pioneer members of the Replast Hotel Scheme in St. Lucia. Um, very important to us as a business, um, both uh, in St. Lucia and globally. Globally, our business is, um, uh, has a Planet Pledge and a Plastic Pledge. Um, and with the launch of our seven acre visitor attraction, uh, Project Chocolat, we were delighted to be asked um, and it ties in precisely with what we are trying to do and what we feel the visitors to St. Lucia are increasingly conscious of, which is their footprint on the planet and what they can do uh, to lessen the impact. And what we can do as a business trading in St. Lucia um, to create a future legacy uh, for all. In addition to the project's fit with Bay Gardens Resort operational policies, Bay Gardens is also seeking to lead by example to promote environmental stewardship among its employees and the general public. Lord John Morrill Willey is the Human Resource Manager at Bay Gardens Resorts. Our partnership is two ways actually. First, we will be having our beans on property so that our guests and our employees can participate in recycling the plastics. So we are also partnering with Replast um, by being a rewards partner. So if you, as a family member, as an individual, you provide the plastics, you recycle your plastics, you will be rewarded with points and you can redeem some really fantastic items. With environmental benchmarks being important metrics for brand reputation and confidence, Managing Director of Sanders Resort St. Lucia, Winston Anderson, noted that Replast OECS presents the hotel sector with a timely opportunity. In 2019, Sanders was the only hotel chain in the world with six resorts to hold master's level certification 
and another six with platinum certification with EarthCheck, the world's leading scientific benchmarking certification and advisory group for travel and tourism. And as we know, um, achieving EarthCheck Master Certificate is a confirmation that results consistently measure their benchmark and their environmental friendly performance. I say to you and I say to my colleagues here today that I don't believe we have any choice but to ensure that together we achieve the goal set for this project to develop and implement a working plastic waste collection and processing system for recycling persons. I think this is long overdue um, and it is timely and the importance of it, I would say to me, cannot be overstated. The rollout of the hotel collection is an important implementation milestone met for the project, which will complete its pilot phase in July 2021. Shanta King is a project director. Um, we're very excited today um, to have met with the uh, hotel, hoteliers. Um, who are participating in the REPLAS collection. It's very commendable that we've had a very, very good response from the hotel community. However, with COVID, we've had some delays in actually starting up. So, so far we have some key properties on board and we are hoping that other properties will come on board, especially as they reopen over the next couple of months. So we are looking forward to um, this new set of collection with the project. Replans OECS has been implemented by development consulting firm Unite Caribbean. The project is poised to enter a second phase, having met key objectives, which include the design and activation of an electronic rewards program with close to 1,000 registered participants who have to date received over 5 million reward points four community collection points established, 26,000 pounds of plastic exported, and hotel collection soon to commence. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George has issued a warning to the general public after the Ministry of Health and Wellness on Friday, 7 May 2021, recorded the highest daily increase in COVID-19 cases for the last 12 weeks. 47 new cases were confirmed by the Ezra Long Laboratory. The majority of the cases, that is 63%, are from the southwestern belt of the island. Dr. Belmar George says the necessary public health systems are being strengthened to manage the situation. The Ministry of Health reminds the public that we are still in a vulnerable position based on the high risk of the introduction of COVID-19 and the variance of concern from the developed countries and neighboring Martinique and transmission in country due to poor compliance to protocols. We continue to advise the public to remain vigilant, adhere to the protocols that are put in place to keep us safe. These include regular hand washing, the use of face masks in public places, covering the nose, mouth and chin, avoiding crowded areas and persons with respiratory symptoms, and also keeping frequently touched surfaces clean. We are privileged to have access to vaccines in the COVID-19 fight. Vaccination remains one of the most effective public health measures in managing infectious diseases. The AstraZeneca vaccine has been proven to be safe and effective in protecting people from developing COVID-19, its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. We continue to urge the public to access the various vaccination sites to get immunized at the soonest. The vaccine is available free of charge to the public at many venues on a daily basis. The CMO is urging all St. Lucians to take the COVID-19 vaccine. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. In an effort to ensure patient and first responder safety, the St. Lucia Fire Service has reviewed its patient transfer procedures, especially for patients with respiratory distress. Face masks will be provided. At no time during transportation should the face mask be removed. Please be patient and cooperative during this time to ensure you receive the best possible care while keeping our first responders safe.
Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. Monsieur Ta Janelle, Monsieur Madame Department qui est responsable pour information à gouvernement cette ici, ça c'est GIS. À ce moment-là, télévision nationale pays à NTN, qu'a posé ton nouvelle à Creole, posé ton Primus Hutchinson. Les autorités, j'ai qu'à considérer l'autre option pour continuer service les WADA qui est responsable pour que le public là observe ces protocoles pour protection de maladie corona. Le programme de la COVID a été à bout de 30 mois d'avril 2021. Et par conséquence de ça, le chef de police a déjà considéré pour hausser le grand constable spécial à l'organisation de la police pour faciliter le changement pour apporter à Dan ce que la police réserve. Dans la présentation de la session de la le 7 e en mois d'avril 2021, le ministre de la responsabilité pour la sécurité nationale, on est sénateur Hummingbird Francis, félicité succès au programme Sewada Covid là. Il dit depuis le programme là commencé en mois de décembre l'année passée, c'était une bonne initiative. Il dit qu'il était nécessaire pour te débouter pour le moment pour faire assurer que l'année a assez l'argent pour financer la continuation du programme ça là. Bah il dit programme là qu'a fait à d'ailleurs différentes façons côté gouvernement ça service Sewada ça là en continuation pour un service pour payer. Selon le sénateur Francis. Le programme est venu en place pour seulement 7 mois. Et qui fait tellement bien, c'est raison après le gouvernement qui a cherché assistance finance pour la continuation. Alors, il a arrêté le programme pour le moment pour faire assurer que l'année a été assez d'argent en place pour sa payer sa laisse et officier ça là, comme n'importe l'autre service civil. Sénateur Francis Wittonet a travaillé après y trouver guérison en bas souffrance maladie corona et juste madame qui était aussi affectée et souffert en pile. Alors, Sénateur Francis a fait un appel et a crié sur l'autre sénateur et même parlement pour encourager le public là pour prendre la vaccine parce que la maladie corona ce n'est pas une blague, c'est une réalité. Il dit que le gouvernement ne veut pas forcer personne et pas voulait faire qu'on paye un tig CVC et Trinidad. Mais il fait comprendre qu'il est très nécessaire pour particulièrement les plus grands citoyens qui recevraient la vaccine ça là pour protéger quoi yo Parce que c'est yo qui plie en risque pour trépasser passer si vous trouvez Corona. Vendredi, finissement semaine passée, le ministère de Santé a enregistré 47 cas de de maladie Corona. Il était sorti à un batch de 249 hors de laboratoire Ezra Long le 6 en mois de mai 2021. Ce cas là, c'est plus haut que j'ai enregistré pour ces dernières six semaines qui passaient. Et la majorité est sorti en façade via fort calé pour souffrir. Et ça, c'est 63% en Comme des habitudes, ces individus là ont trouvé à ces cliniques, à ces communes qui prient, côté de l'assessement de fait, et après ça, placé en quarantaine pour inspirer pour ces résultats. Un changement déjà en place pour placer par Koyoyon à la place et pour chercher les gens qui ont été contactés. Là aussi, il y a une confirmation que 11 individus trouvés à Jérusalem et qui ont les mots qui sont actifs pour 136 pour les présents. Tous ces cas-là, ça fait bien. Ces cas neuf là ça a apporté les mots total là pour 4654. Euh, ce cas neuf ça là, José de Gué, les officiers en ministère de santé, de Gué, on est venu concerné. Alors, il y a déjà implémenté façon pour renforcer le système de santé pays. Le ministère de santé a plaidé, puis le membre public là, pour changer, pour changer qui, la situation de la maladie corona très sérieuse toujours, et que cela très haut. Particulièrement, comme pays comme Martinique et l'autre pays qui est plus développé, Jani, c'est le cas corona qui est plus féroce, parce que le monde n'a pas qu'à suivre ce protocole là. Le ministère de la Santé a conseillé le public là pour laver la main continuellement, et puis savon, et puis sanitizer, chaîne 6 pieds de distance, servir masse pour couvrir la bouche, le nez et le maton, et pour rester loin de monde qui a des problèmes de étouffement, et puis quand tout en pile, et pas combler en pas de Le ministère de la Santé a encouragé le public là pour prendre dose de la vaccine, parce que c'est la meilleure façon 
qui ont sa wabat maladie corona. Et qui protéger les gens, qui ont des complications, qui ont l'hôpital, et plus mauvais toujours, la mort. Depuis le 6 mois de mai 2021, en total de 24 985 individus ont déjà reçu la première dose de la vaccine, et 10 836 ont reçu la deuxième dose. De la. Alors, il faut encourager la famille et les amis pour prendre la dose de la vaccine AstraZeneca. Ministre des Affaires agricoles et gouvernement de cette on est Ezekiel Joseph, qui a continué pour expliquer l'agrément que le gouvernement tenu et puis l'organisation FIG NFTO. Le ministre a expliqué que le proposal a été placé devant les Grecs NFTO, NFTO pour être le représentatif du gouvernement comme le chairman et qui ont l'autre pour assister à ce bon NFTO. Après, il y a été d'accord en commencement et qui, à présent, pour te montrer qui est d'accord et puis pour faire ça là. On a ministre agricole là, fait comprendre que je te fait tout ça qui était nécessaire pour te aller en compliance et puis les Grecs NFTO pour te faciliter un agrément qui est en faveur tous les deux agences là. Vous écoutez nous à l'aise on the 7th of April qui a dit nous que le um, proposal proposal là gouvernement de um, Média Letsab là, il est d'accord et puis. Donc, right? so, pour le gouvernement du Tchèmen, le 7 de April. Et puis, ça a été dragué longtemps long, long avant. Le 13 de April, parce que je suis en train de me dire que c'est le 1 de l'April. Le 7 de April. Le 13 de April, nous écoutons le monsieur Monroz. Et puis, nous disons que le gouvernement a identifié ces trois membres pour le bord là. Nous le savons que ces quatre membres là. Vous pouvez recommander pour que vous commencez à jouer et puis vous commencez à travailler. Up to now, up to now, nous pouvons jouer une pièce de réponse de la 13 April. Up to now, nous pouvons jouer une pièce de réponse de M. Monroe ou NFTO à ce que quatre membres vous pouvez mettre les bords là pour que vous travaillez. Nous avons là. Le ministre de l'Agricole a déclaré que le gouvernement a mis en place 4,5 millions de dollars pour ressusciter et pour établir une meilleure opération pour l'industrie FIG là, et pour payer des dettes NFTO. M. Joseph dit qu'il a aussi eu un rapport qui a montré que l'organisation NFTO doit 2,7 millions de dollars. 2,2 millions de dollars, ça. Right? Yo NFTO a doué un régime pour 4 mois, un régime 20 FIG en l'anglité, par NFTO. Un régime doué un NFTO. NFTO a deux régimes over 800 000 dollars. Right? Et puis là, le premier deux mois, 5 à 20 figs par NFTO en l'anglais. 5 qui est moins. Right? On parle de 5. Un G NFTO, je ne l'ai pas fait. Yo a deux figs, 80 000 US dollars. Non, ça, ça a dit non. Ou ouvre le gouvernement, mettez la en un système. Le Adji Famous qui a rien la hand from Yoka Van Fig. Famous ni pour un chum, paye ce monde qui a acheté Fig. Ça a fait science. Il n'a pas fait science. Monsieur, madame, ça c'était la voix. Ministre la qui nous responsabilité pour affaire agricole. C'est le si on va Ezekiel Joseph. Et nous allons continuer à être plus rapport à ce développement. C'est comme ça que nous allons faire votre nouvelle. Je vous remercie autant. Pour garder mon cabaret en invitation, je ne peux pas encore se dire qu'on se fait la vie dans les postes de l'autre nouvelle. À quoi est la prison? Mon cabaret pour cette autre chaîne. Merci à Pearl Primus. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.